new video, all during construction, so you can see the process of building a concession trailer. This trailer happens to be an eight foot wide by 24 foot long trailer. It's gonna have a hood system and all the things in it, which you'll see at the point that we get the trailer, it's framed only with plywood floor. We brought it in yesterday at noon, Welcome back to m &R. We're here taking a second look at this trailer in which you've seen part of the film earlier. And at the time we looked at the film earlier, I believe we talked about the plywood was going on the wall, the electrical was hanging on the wall, and uh, basically that's where we were. We were just getting started. Since that movie, uh, we have completed all of the plywood and cutouts for all the plugs and the wires are in the right places and then if you scan to this side of the trailer you can see that the composite is going on what you're seeing here is a plastic cover of protection and once you pull that protection off you can see it up here in the roof it's solid white so the ceiling is in this trailer uh, one side's done on this side what they're doing is they're setting themselves up for the hood this opening here is for the for the cooking hood that's the fan system going through this wiring is sitting to wire the hood on top. And it'll come into a switch before it goes out. Uh, these additional openings you see hanging on the, in the ceiling, this is for the two control fans that are 110 to pull the air down into the unit to keep the, uh, it helps bring air into the hood to eliminate the hood from pulling extra air out of, out of the rest of the trailer, which saves the air conditioning. Uh, we have other vents, we have three air conditioners on this trailer, and they're set up with the wire harnesses ready. And all of the wires are pulled to the front where the service panel will be here. We've also put a floor down. It has a rubber coin floor that was installed today. And uh, now, tomorrow, we will go back to completing all the composites. And then we'll start buttoning up the electric. We'll set the lights, put the hood in tomorrow. And uh, we'll wait about a day or two and take another film and you'll see the progress in, uh, what's, of what's happening here. And hopefully uh, we'll do this a number, a couple more times and you'll see the whole process of the trailer. So make sure you stop back and look at the second half, or third half. See you later. Here we are at m &R for the third look at this trailer that we're building. Uh, last time, I believe you'll see, we uh, just already started the composite in the trailer and had the floor down. Well, at this stage, you can see that we've completed all the composite on the ceilings and walls and uh, <clears throat> added the lights to the ceiling, which we temp plug them in so we got some light here to work with till we tie the panel. But we get the uh, lights and the composite in, and we've built the, the major thing is we put the hood system in and got all the gas piping in. And we got the Ansel system in ahead of all the appliances. So all the, he had room to run his lines and get everything up. Now we will begin, and you'll see in the next video, we'll start setting all of the appliances and hooking in all of the gas, and uh, it's coming along. But we wanted to show you this area here before we got into the appliances. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Okay, let's look at this gas while we're here. What this is, the gas comes from your propane through the floor from your tanks outside. All right, the first thing that goes to is this valve. This valve is works off your Ansel system. If there's any kind of a fire or you set the system off, this valve shuts the whole system down here and no more gas can go in your trailer. That's the idea of the Ansel system. Okay, something else we do, we come out of that valve then into a solid manifold. There's no T's above the floor line. Your solid manifold, you can see we have in this trailer, we have one, two, three, four, five, six appliances that will be gas driven. So there's a separate feed for each one of the manifold, and on this side you will see there's a valve on every one of them. So every appliance can be shut off at this point. 
The other item we do, if you'll look, you'll see a gas gauge here on the top. This gas gauge is just kind of a safety factor, so when you walk in your trailer, before you start lighting burners or anything else, if you take a look at this gauge and you see you still have six, seven pounds on there, even though it's not leaking, if you've left your blinds pressurized and you come in in the morning and there's no pressure, that means you've got to leak somewhere. So a quick look at this will keep you from maybe blowing yourself up. So we put these on every gas system. And, uh, and, you know, it's not required, but it's important. So that's what we do with our lines, just to keep you safe. And hopefully on the next movie, we'll have all the appliances around here. They'll start looking like a trailer. It kind of looks like a mess now, but that's part of construction. So we'll see you in the next movie, and I think you'll see the difference. Okay, folks, we're back for another look at the trailer we had in progress. I believe the last time we were here, we had the openings cut in the ceiling for the AC in units. We had all the wires hanging for the service panel, and we had one of the, the, the main hood in. Well, since that time, we've uh, completed the wiring, brought the wiring all down inside a panel, hooked the panel up, and they're working on finishing it up and building the chase for it. And they've our setting tables at this time. We've set the the serving window since since you, we were last looking at the trailer. So they're down the service window, the table, some tables in, uh, starting to set appliances, got the prior set, got the heart, got the, 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 the burner tops, the oven, and uh, I think we had the gas completed last time, but we're finalizing them all over for the hookups, so we've got another hookup going here. And we built a custom smoke hood. It's gonna set over the ovens just to keep the smoke up out of the trailer. It's not a heat or grease hood, it's strictly a smoke hood to capture the heat and smoke from the uh, pizza ovens. And uh, we've also put in the system, the top, the stainless steel top, back to where the sink's all set in here, which will probably go in today. The hot water, propane hot water heater is mounted on the wall and bedded through the roof. You can see the trim is tacked partially to the corner. They'll complete all the trim, pull it all down. It's only tapped. It's still hanging. You can see the gaps. That'll all come out when I finish screwing it off. And like I was saying earlier, the AC, this one still has the cover to go on it yet. The two behind you are all finished. They'll finish this one up pretty quick now because they just got to put the cover on it. Uh, these are our two fans in front of our hood to give us the fresh air we need to pull it from the hood and kind of keep it from pulling the rest of the air from the trailer. And these are the wiring for it, which will all be hooked in. But uh, we're coming along pretty uh, pretty fast. Now, your, your, your appliances go in in one day, and then they'll spend, spend a day hooking up. So we'll take another look at this in two days, and it should be a finished product. Here we are back at the uh, trailer that we were doing in the progressive uh, movies and this would be the last movie we have completed it it's getting ready to ship Monday morning and today is Friday so uh, we thought we'd take the last movie and show you how the uh, how it all ended up and uh, as Richard comes in with the camera and starts taking the pictures of the uh, interior you're gonna see red straps hanging off the appliances normally on all of our trucks we fasten permanently all the units in place because this trailer will be in a fixed position and going to stay stationary, the owners wanted to be able to move the appliances back and forth, but they still have to move the trailer once in a while, so we set up some hook systems and straps, which they can be put on when they transport it, take off when they're permanently set up, and still move their appliances. So there's a lot of options. It depends on what you're doing, how you're doing it, what you need. We can fit whatever you, you want to do. Well, let's take a look at it finished. You can see uh, pretty well the lights and everything was in before. The ACs are finished covered now. The shelving's up. Uh, all the appliances are in place. The ta large table's in place. The windows, the shelving over the windows. We got uh, the hood system was completed before, but now you can see the reasoning. You'll see the new hood sticking out here. We build this hood in place. This is basically just a heat hood to capture the heat from this oven and a large fan on the ceiling on a switch to pull the heat out off this big oven system. 
That way it's not just pouring heat in your whole trailer. But uh, it gives them a lot of room. They have one more appliance they're gonna, I guess, install later here. We have a hookup for them. There'll be a gas line here. And I think we showed you before the gas line setup, but there's how it sets with equipment around it. I think you've seen it last time just sticking out of the floor. So that's the way it ends up complete. Plenty of room to get your get to your handles and shut offs and see your gauges. And it all ends up finished back here. Your actual speed, your your speed control fan of this hood is set right here under the control switch. And it's variable speed, so you can raise it or lower it based on the amount of heat or if you're running both ovens or one. Again, behind me, you've got your finished product in your hand sink. Got your hot water, gas heated hot water heater, your shelving unit. And this is uh, your your shell, your tray for your sinks. Basically, your three bay sinks here, and this allows you a Corian gutting top where you just actually prep your food right on top, and the water will run down the sides and go in your sink. So it's a useful item. Your under your sink, uh, you'll see you've got uh, a number of. Let's see here. There we go. You have a grease separator in this trailer. You can see we installed it right here, so everything that comes out of your sink goes through your grease separator first before it goes into your holding tank. It's just some people require or like to have that, and uh, so you can do whatever you need to put in. And uh, basically that's that's about it. It's just uh, it's all finished up. You've got your fire extinguisher down here, your sign showing you that your fire extinguisher is under the table, and that is a grease unit for putting out grease fires. And uh, so between your Ansel system and your grease system, you're pretty well covered and meet code just about anywhere you go. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the movies in different positions of the trailer as it's built. You get an idea of what we put into the trailers. And then this trailer was uh, just prior. You'll see a checklist by the door as you go out. We got a three page checklist that every to walk through and signed off every point of the trailer before it's cleaned. And then the final thing was the cleaning. And after it's clean, the cardboard's put down the middle to keep me from walking on it again. <laughs> so as we, a customer comes, we'll pull the cardboard back or ask him if he wants to leave it. And uh, he'll be taking it out of here on Monday. He was in yesterday morning, and uh, thank goodness he was very happy, and uh, he's ready to go. So come and take a look at what we do here, folks. You're getting an idea from these films, but uh, come see it. We'll fix you up.